A continuación presentamos el devocional diario por el pastor José Manuel Sierra y traducido al inglés. En español se emite de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias y queda grabado en nuestros canales de Facebook y YouTube. Debajo en la descripción de este vídeo encontrará el enlace para los devocionales en español. Good morning, my dear brethren. Like every morning, I'm giving you the welcome to all who are connected live and to all who will later throughout the day or in the next few days will be watching and listening this devotional. We continue in the book of Exodus, the book of Shemot, and we're going to be going to chapter 15, a very well-known story and very interesting story that as of verse 23, the word of the Lord says the following. Now, when they came to Marah, they could not drink the waters of Marah because they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Mara. And the people complained against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? So he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. When he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he came a statute and an ordinance for them, and there he tested them. It caused my attention the reaction of the people in front of this situation. Uh, never better said, uh, bitter. The people murmurs and speaks against Moses as if Moses had a water tank safe for them. Moses was also going through the same test. He was also in the same place. He couldn't drink the waters of Merah because they were bitter and they couldn't drink it. They couldn't drink it, not even the animals. But while the people complain and murmur, the verse 23, verse 25 says that the Moses cried to the Lord. And that prayer did not fall on deaf ears. The Lord heard Moses cry and answered him. And he told him and showed him a tree. He threw them in that bitter water and automatically they were sweetened and everything was salt. What attitude are you going to adopt, not only today, but throughout your life? Facing a test, a pain, or a difficult circumstance, or a difficult uh, circumstance or test? Are you going to complain? Are you going to murmur? Are you going to criticize or blame somebody else? Or are you going to cry to the Lord? And are you going to throw your burden on Him and wait on Him? And He, without a doubt, will not only answer you, but the Lord is going to teach you something that is going to help you, uh, help your growth and uh, uh, development as a son of God. They arrive in that place not by chance. The Lord sent them there. He guided them to that place to test them, to teach them that no matter how difficult the situation is and the circumstances, if we cry out to the Lord in the midst of the pain, in the midst of the anguish, God will always answer. And he will give us a way out, the right way out, so that we will know how to act and not lose our peace for nothing or anyone. My dear brethren, in this place, in the waters of Mara, where the Israelites were tested, the Lord is going to send tests to teach us great lessons that will help us to grow and to mature as children of God. The tests discover us. The tests are going to show us what kind of faith do we have, what level of maturity we have reached or not. The tests are going to discover your, our true heart. We can speak very softly, very nice, be very loving, very caring, very, but when the tests come to your life, things that you do not understand, things that from your point of view are unfair, that's where you're going to be discovering your true heart. You can deceive people, you can deceive men, and even deceive yourself, but you can never deceive him. Sooner or later, what really, what you really are is going to come to, to, to the surface. If you're not a spiritual man, it will be revealed. If you do not love God and do not obey God and obey the will of God, no matter what it is, all of that is going to come out to the light. That's why, my dear brethren, there is no circumstance, no proof, no situation that is not allowed by the Lord. Always, always for our good. 
My advice, nunca te never quejes. complain. Nunca never blame others for what is happening to you. Pregúntale Ask the Señor, Lord, Lord, what is it enseñando? that you're teaching me? What is it that you're going to show me? In what area of my life do I need to mature and grow? And I'm fully convinced that if that prayer comes sincerely from the depth of your heart, the Lord will show you what he wanted to teach you for a long time. And I hope that you never forget so that you do not trip over the same stone. In face of trials, complaint is useless. In front of the circumstances and difficult situations of life, to complain and to lament and blame others is absolutely useless. Quite the opposite. What we have to do is what Moses did. While the people were complaining, while the people were desperate, he was crying out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him the solution. This time, it was a tree that threw, that threw it on the bitter waters, and immediately the waters sweetened. Here we find a type of Christ. Here we find how that tree tells us about how Christ comes into the bitter and frustrated lives, and he brings sweetness, he brings peace, he brings calm. It is true that sometimes there are circumstances in life that can cause pain, sadness, and certain, to certain extent, a certain bitterness. But now, in Christ Jesus, we have learned for a long, long time to react in a different way than the one that we reacted. Now we know that complaining does not please God, rather the opposite. Now we know that that unnecessary whining is useless. Now we know that what we have to do is to cry out to God. The Bible doesn't it say in Jeremiah 33, 3, cry out to me and I will answer you and will show you great and hidden things that you do not know. That tree was there. Nobody had seen it. The solution was in front of their eyes, but nobody had discovered it. Why? Because instead of praying, they complained, they lamented. But Moses claimed to the Lord, and the Lord showed him the solution, and he will show you what you have to do, so that you do not despair and do not get bitter, but that you can say, thank you, Lord, because in this bitter situation and difficult situation, I have seen your hand, and I have seen that nothing stops you when we cry out with faith to you. Why don't we just pray together? And we ask the blessing of God for this day that just started. And praying that the Lord will show us that tree, that solution, that way out, that answer to our problem. And I'm fully convinced that if we pray with faith, the Lord will respond as he has always accustomed Let's pray to our Lord. Blessed Heavenly Father, thank you from the depths of our hearts because we know that you are with us. Lord, today we ask you that in any difficult situation in which we find ourselves, you will give us the solution and the answer. We cry out to you from the depths of our hearts, believing that you, Lord, are the God of the answers, the God who gives us solutions, the God that opens doors and shows us the path to follow. We put our lives and this day in your hands with thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. My dear brethren, we have a weekend ahead of us that we are already trusting and believing in the Lord, that it will be a blessed weekend, a weekend where we will see His glory, where the Word of the Lord will come to our lives to strengthen us, to encourage us and guide us in this life. We will have, Lord willing, this afternoon, if He allows it, the pastor online, you have the entire day to send your questions, even through Facebook, and I will try to answer in, on the pastor online. So if you have any questions, take advantage of it, send it to me, to this Facebook channel, and, and at 6 o'clock in the Canary Islands, I will give you answer to them. And I want to send special greetings to Australia. We had several visits from brothers and sisters visiting us from the Palma de Mallorca island, but also uh, the visit from some brothers, my brother Andres and his wife Ruth, who came from Australia 
and brought us some gifts. This cute detail, a koala with the Australian flag, and also a hat that I was very excited to receive. I say greetings. I didn't know that there were many brothers and sisters in Australia, especially in the city of Melbourne, that are watching us and follow us through social networks. I say greetings to all of you. Yeah. Thank you for never stop praying for us and supporting us with your prayers and also, of course, with your offerings so that this ministry will continue to ahead. May the Lord bless you very richly. We'll see you this afternoon, Lord willing, in the pastor online. And if not, Sunday afternoon in the service that we're going to be broadcasting. How can you see the, the services direct? Subscribe right now to this Facebook channel to the channel that we have on YouTube, Centro Evangelica Vida Nueva. Just click on the bell and every time that we are broadcasting something, you will receive a notification. That is the only way that you do not miss anything that we broadcast. My dear brethren, I wish you all have a good day and as I said, we will see you this afternoon in Pastor Online. Blessings to all of you, my dear brethren.